Elections 2023. So what? We're all excited about elections 2023. And I must say again, we are in the process of getting it wrong. Every election cycle, we complain, we react, we accuse, we list out the faults of previous governments and the qualities we need in the new government. And we turn around and make the same mistakes all over again. We end up choosing the wrong person. Now, on the 25th of February, we're about to make the same mistake. Let me say once again, the power is not in the presidency. It is with the states. Now, considering our states, our, our current state as a, as a country, irrespective of who wins the presidential elections, more important to you are the states and national assemblies and the state governors. And this fact has been proven continuously and countlessly over the years. Let's start with the state governors. The assemblies, that will be a topic for another day. When a governor decides to be effective, it dwarfs the influence and achievements of the federal government. Let's note this. The responsibility of the state governor is not to go cup in hand to the federal government for federal allocation. They have the same responsibility as the president within a control space called the state. In fact, they have more control. They're in charge of the lands in the state. This means that federal government, almighty federal government, can hardly do anything on land without approval from the state. They provide water. They're in charge of preschool and primary school education. They collect personal income tax, that is uh, pay as you earn. The state is responsible for security. The law empowers the state to provide security for the residents. Yes, we're used to the argument that the police commissioner reports to the IGP, but the governor sits at top security funds and has, and has heads of agencies, security agencies, report to him within the state bi-weekly and monthly. Simply put, for every FG policy, there is a state involvement. You remember the COVID-19 palliative saga? A lot of the foodstuffs stashed away were in the hands of the state government. Many federal government policies are executed through the states. States where the governors provide adequate support for the federal government, security issues are easily mitigated. Case in sight, Edo State train attack. With the help of the state government, the victims were rescued and the criminals were arrested in record time. Another example is the scarcity of funds. Now, two governors have spoken and they're using their office to ameliorate the suffering of the people. Bonu State Governor, Professor Babagana Zulum, warned banks operating in Bonu State that he would revoke the lands they're operating on if the inconveniences persist. Last week, Governor Babajide Sonwolu of Lagos State directed the state's money transportation structure to charge 50% of all charges. There is relative peace in Lagos today, not because federal government is securing Lagos, but because the government is doing some things right. The cloud of insecurity, however, that is swelling up in Lagos could be ended by the state government in a short while, if it so wishes. If you focus, if your focus rather, is still on the presidency, you're missing the point. By the way, for those who feel it is the responsibility of federal government to manage the economy, you are very right. However, the state has a huge role to play in this. Southwest was built on the proceeds of cocoa. North was built on the proceeds of highs and skin, groundnut pyramids, and uh, other forms of agriculture. The Southeast was predominantly red oil and other forms of agriculture. All three regions functioned on the proceeds of agriculture managed by the region back then, or you could say the states. What are the state's governments investing in currently beyond inflated budgets? God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So, that's my take on, what's your take on this? <laughs> hmm. States. I tell people that the election is coming. Even though everybody, the euphoria and excitement and the uh, agitations and interest and what have you, confusion is on the trial. But well, let's say the top three candidates, Tenobu, Atiku, Adobe. Mm. Well, nobody's talking about who is the 
governor of my state, who is going to be, who is the local government chair and something, what plan do you have? Yeah. So yeah, I understand that it's important. The presidential election is very important, but you know what? The president will not be able to function alone on his own without involving the state and True. other tiers of government. So mm -hmm. let me extend it beyond just state governors. Let us also hold all our public officials accountable. Mm -hmm. Whether you are elected or appointed, what are you doing? If you are a minister, what are you doing in your office? Let them minister, move their a commissioner, what are you doing? Right. A councillor, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. So like, let's hold them responsible. You still thinking through? Um, I, I think um, I, 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 I quite agree with your submission to mm -hmm. a great extent. Um, it's just that when we get to this period, I am very careful things I say so I don't impact the other person. Mm. What I mean by that now, we are talking about why is the focus about presidency, presidency. Hello. Now, we should be happy to a large extent because the number of interest for this particular of election course. has increased compared to mm. the last election that was 2019. So um, this uh, was a call, awareness or consciousness will continue to grow. We will not get it automatically, but you'll find out that over time, you'll find out the focus will move just to from the presidency mm. to other elections. And until then, we can't really get it right because you are not concerned about who is your local government chairman, mm. who is representing you in the state house, who is representing you in federal. You are concerned that everything stopped within the presidency, which is wrong. But um, just to give a balanced support to people who are more interested in casting their votes in this presidential election, I think it's a good place to start. That is not the solution to it, but well, it's mm -hmm. a good place to start. It's a good place because to start. Because some persons have never voted in their life. That's voted in their life. <laughs> but I think you should even remind them. That's why it's important to let them know that your vote doesn't stop on the 25th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another continue yeah, in March. March. Yeah. When, yeah. when that comes. Yeah. Yeah. So take time okay. to understand the manifestos okay. of what so that can be. I, uh, okay, I agree with what you, you've said, because mm. uh, I, see, I see these things as levels of detail. Um, the higher you go, the less detail you get a hold of. Yeah. But when yeah. you come down, especially yeah. to the um, local government level, the level of detail is is really sharp, yeah. you know? Mm. Then you, are, you know about the people in, you know, who, don't, who are having issues with school fees, yeah. you know the road has bad and it. all of that. And, you know, while you are right now saying that don't focus on presidency, it's good. Because what I fear is that this mass of attention this focus this yeah. energy that's mm. focused on presidency you know the presidential elections Mission. alone mm. would fade away vaporize if we don't start redirecting it to exactly. other important yeah. areas yeah. so that you know some of that energy can carry over True. to to help uh, people understand that there's a lot more involved than just the that mm. I, I think what, one of the things i say to people is that this particular election season whether we like it or not, I don't care in quote who wins yes, or who yeah. doesn't win. Yeah, yeah. But what I know is that the political consciousness that we have right now is going to grow. The momentum is going to grow. Mm. Regardless of who, who wins the election, it's going to grow. So you find out that the caliber of uh, candidates who, that will be coming out for election will be different. Mm. Which no, the, the, truth, the truth of the matter is that I don't think the fact that okay, we're debating people are no big deal. I don't think the fact that the caliber of candidates will change come 2027 has much to do with the people. It's just that the people that are in the game now have reached expiry dates. Because the truth of the matter is that whether we vote now or we don't vote now, the next set of people that will come to the and will be different. The likes of the articles, the yeah. uh, they are going. Yeah. So you'll be hearing the Tambowals, the Dogara, yeah. yeah. but, but, but by the then, five, but by the then, those it's another come, crop. Yeah, those people come and will be aware that see the new what happened in the last second. It's not going to let's be see, much, see yeah. how to up our games. No, I understand if you say they are programmed. I'm just saying that in terms of the change, the change will not really is not really coming from no, us. No, no, but it's no, automatic. I think it's going to be for both sides. I think we a bit because. Okay. Whether you like it or not, if you check around the kind of uh, people coming out for House of Representatives, Senate right now, you find out that people who don't even have any political antecedents. Okay, okay. So yeah, exactly. what, what's exactly. going to happen is that if, for instance, I contest for this election cycle and I score like, let's say, 2,000 or 5,000 mm -hmm. votes, it tells me something. 5,000 people mm -hmm. voted it for me. You so now it gives me like another four years to strategize and mm -hmm. plan. And it's, even though you don't feel like contesting, the further you see that, I was able to achieve this. You mm. feel that you have something to offer. That also will inspire you to want to come out. All right. I mean, that, that, that's it because generally it's just, we just need to focus a lot more on governance, be able to identify our strengths as a people, be able to look at 
how to make the nation uh, better. And it doesn't, yes, I've heard people say, you have the fish rots from the head. But the question I always ask is, in this case, which of the heads? Mm. Is it the federal head, the state head, the local government head, uh, the family head, the, the community head? Because so many heads are rotten now. Mm. And I mean, like, like you spoke about the guy, the person that is um, helping in the society with agriculture and all that. Those are the things that make a nation. Because the, like you said, you said it all when you said that. If the person at the top cannot know everything that's happening at the bottom, yeah. but does he, does he have reliable hands and, and yeah. you know, mouths that are telling him the right thing? Not, ah, Baba, you do all. Everybody <laughs> likes you. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> ah, nothing. You know, that's where it will flow. With. But hey, you know, uh, it's, you know how it happens on the, the, uh, the advocate, and uh, you know that the end always seems to come too soon right here on the advocate. However, the Advocate continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with this with previous broadcasts, go to Plus TV Africa.com forward slash The Advocate NG, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on the station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye-bye.